In today's vital episode, we're gonna make three different sounds using the LFO in step mode and some of the squared randoms to modulate a bunch of different parameters, including some of the effect modules. Go watch the previous video to learn more about turning the LFOs into a step sequencer. This clip is edited from one of my webinars at the Future Media Academy. Links to that in the video description. Yala, let's go. Let's create a sound that has a kind of a random low pass cut of modulation. bundle of reverb, then compression, then EQ. We will have to al always process this afterwards with live things or with or BSTs, but uh, this is the, the way to go when you are when you want a sound that uh, you want the, the the sound pushed to the max because this preset by default uh, is very much like an OTT uh, multiband dynamics preset that will push all the bands a lot, then compress a lot, of course, but uh, that's why you have to equalize after, because this will actually bring those bases back forward. Um, and it will also well, bring a, a lot of the effects that you put and the tails of the reverbs and the delays very much uh, into presence. What are sound was not finished at all, man. give it a less uh, squarish shape by putting a just a normal LFO here, a slow, rounded, synced. The watery thingy. Okay, we got it. We got it, don't we? Ah, okay, we, maybe we can make some more random uh, on this. Or this. Yeah, this this is the perfect candidate for some slow squared um, automations here and there. squelch sound which uh, we will need a, a filter modulation pitch modulation as well uh, better shape probably what are the sounds okay we can do what Sound. 
that sound, oh, this is maybe the first sound I learned uh, how to make. <laughs> uh, but this is still relevant, or still uh, a thing that I put in every track I make. Still, even if it is a very simple and easy to make sound. But it is a uh, modulation of the pitch, and the same modulation goes to the high pass filter on down here. Some, uh, some unisono. And that is basically it. There's so many ways to do this sound. I'm gonna put uh, this same modulation, but in this case, instead of opening the uh, the thing, it will close the cut of this low pass. Yeah, and it will um, it will kind of tame down the sound when when it goes when it used to be or go, when it used to go wild. Uh, it will now be taming that way. Maybe in a little lesser way. But you get my idea. This does like a kind of an oppo opposite modulation. This goes up in pitch. Up in high pass modulation, it goes down in low pass here in the, uh, in the, in the effect section. Sounds good. I'm not gonna lie. That sounds fucking good. Um, not gonna lie here, boys. We nailed it. automation on the rear like this maybe something that opens up every once in a while like, like this like this sync mode of course this will open up and close the, uh, the mix of the river once in a while We can do this for the decay as well, so it opens up a little bit of both at the same time. guys that's it for today thank you very very much for watching don't forget to check out my online classes in the future media academy website and to follow me on twitch i stream almost every day you'll find the links in the video description